What's up, family? My name is Trail, and we have some breaking news to share with you today. It appears that the government has been lying to us the entire time, and they finally let the cat out of the bag. We are talking about COVID-19 fiasco that killed millions of Americans. We have this new report that was just released that says COVID most likely originated from a China lab and it was leaked out into the public. We have been lied to for three plus years now and I guess Trump was saying it the entire time. He was calling it the Chinese B word. I won't say it on this channel but you guys know what I'm talking about. COVID-19. Yes, guys, we are talking about the coronavirus disease that pretty much hit the United States around the March of 2020 time frame in which this particular coronavirus, COVID-19, pretty much shut the entire country down. But not just the United States. It also affected other countries around the world. This was pretty much the most devastating thing that has happened since World War II. But anyways, guys, I do have some latest statistics that I do want to share with you in regards to COVID-19. Just to give you a little background, uh, according to the statistics, guys, worldwide, there were around 674 million cases uh, being detected. As far as new cases, there are recently around 65,000 new cases. So yes, COVID is still alive today. However, it is not affecting uh, people the same way that it was three and two years ago. But anyways, guys, as far as the amount of people that actually died from COVID-19 or that was the specific case from their deaths, yes, guys, it was around 6.8 million people. So when you put that number into perspective, that is a lot of people that we actually lost over the entire world. Now, again, like I said, we haven't seen anything like this since World War II, and obviously we lost more individuals during those particular times. And here we are facing another war, considering we are having a little bit of beef with China as well as Russia. We could be headed towards a World War III as well. But this particular video is talking about how the government ended up lying to the American people and not just the American people, guys, pretty much all governments around the world have been lying to its citizens. Yes, guys, we just received a recent report in regards to COVID and uh, they are telling us that it was most likely originated from a lab leakage according to a new report. Now it says that the energy department's assessment came from a low confidence uh, individual per the Wall Street Journal. And while no firm has concluded yet made among health and government officials as to where COVID-19 really came from, the U.S. Energy Department has now reportedly indicated it believes that the virus was most likely the result of a lab leak in China. Yes, guys, this was a leak from a lab in China in which, like I said, Donald Trump has been yelling this for several years in which he was calling out saying that this COVID-19 was pretty much the Chinese V word. I won't say what the V word is, but you already know what I'm talking about. Virus. But anyways, guys, yes, Trump was saying it directly to the American people, telling them that this was originally originated from China. And yes, they needed to do something about it as well as uh, Donald Trump was also calling, saying that China needs to be held accountable for this particular virus. And here we are getting the final reports three years later saying that this particular virus was constructed in a lab in China and for somehow it was leaked to the public. Anyways, guys, yes, this particular report says that the view of the Energy Department, which oversees a network of national labs, some of which conduct bio research, was reported on Sunday by the Wall Street Journal. And people who read the report said that the assessment was made with low confidence, according to the, to the journal, referring to the lowest of three confidence intervals in the intelligence community. So yes, guys, they are saying that this is not necessarily a smoking gun and has limited access to the raw data as of right now, 
but the discussions of the science has played out in a haze of circumstantial evidence that we are still receiving as of today. And at the same time, the virus origins have become a contentious wedge issue at home while the Chinese government denies COVID-19 could have come from one of its labs in Wuhan. So anyways, guys, this is breaking news. We are receiving more reports. We heard about this a long time ago, guys, but we are starting to see even more reports that are pointing directly to a specific lab in Wahoon. I know I'm saying that name wrong, but Wahoon, China, saying that this was constructed in a lab in China. So yes, guys, we are probably going to be seeing more information coming out over the next few days or so in relation to this. I'm sure we will hear a response directly from China and their government, uh, and I'm sure that they will actually deny that this particular COVID-19 was constructed in their own country. But anyways, guys, that is just the latest information in regards to COVID-19. Like I said earlier in the video, it is not over yet. We are still dealing with uh, the ramifications of COVID-19. We are still dealing with people getting infected with COVID-19 as well. I told you guys about two weeks ago, I ended up having to cancel my family vacation with my wife. We were going to a wedding in the Dominican Republic and I ended up catching COVID and the entire family caught COVID. So we ended up having to cancel that trip altogether. So again, it is affecting people as of today. But anyways, guys, we did get a response from Dr. Anthony Fauci in which he was speaking out about the COVID lab leak theory after this latest report that was released as of yesterday. And yes, guys, Dr. Anthony Fauci urged people to keep an open mind when it comes to COVID-19 origins after this latest report suggested that the virus was leaked from a Chinese lab. Now again, COVID-19 emerged back in 2019 in Wuhan, China, and its origin has sparked worldwide debate with opposing sides disagreeing on whether the virus was leaked from a lab or whether it was naturally occurring, which is what the government told the American people. But again, the virus has infected more than 674 million people worldwide, killing more than 6 million people. Like I mentioned before, this particular data is also coming from the CDC as well. Now, Dr. Anthony Fauci's comments came after the United States Department of Energy released a report claiming that COVID-19 stemmed from a lab leak in China. The report places the DOE in line with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, or the FBI, on COVID-19 origin beliefs, but not all U.S. government agencies agree with this latest report. And yes, guys, in a recent interview with Dr. Anthony Fauci, he urged people not to jump to conclusions. He said that the DOE report was made with low confidence and he hasn't seen the data used to compile the report as of yet. So we can see he is still not ready to go ahead and admit this information, even though we've been told this all the way back in 2019 before the virus even came to the United States. This was first detected back in 2019 directly in China and then you have it show up to the masses in 2020. Come on now, where else are you going to believe that this particular virus actually came from? But anyways guys, Fauci doesn't want people to panic. He doesn't want people to jump to conclusions. He doesn't want people to get hysterical and go after the government or even come after him even though he has left office. Uh, guys, he says that he wants everyone to remain calm and he wants to go ahead and go through further review in regards to where this particular virus originated from. So anyways, guys, we are having all directions point directly to China, this particular lab. And I just wanted to share that information with you today. But in addition to that, guys, as COVID turns three years old, experts are still worrying where the next pandemic will actually come from and if we'll be actually ready when it does. Yes, guys, the public health experts are warned of a possibility of an illness spreading across the globe and killing millions of people. After all, it happened before, so it could happen again. Now, measures were in place around the world to spot early signs of never-before-seen bugs with dangerous potential. And that is why on December the 31st of 2019, China notified the World Health Organization that a novel pathogen was circulating in Wuhan, the most populous city in central China, which like I said, guys, this was reported back in 2019. And then it hit America in March of 2020, 
what a coincidence it was. So anyways, guys, like I said, experts are worried about the next uh, potential pathogen that could lead to a pandemic here in the United States as well as other countries. And they want to figure out what they can do to prepare themselves so that we don't have to experience what we did back in 2020. So again, guys, they are currently working on that and they do foresee something like this or it pretty much is going to happen in the near future. So again, guys, prepare yourselves because you never know, but you do need to go ahead and prepare yourselves because if they are telling you right now that something like this could happen again, go ahead and prepare yourselves, guys. It will probably happen. But anyways, guys, like I said, the government has been lying to us and we need to do something about it. And like I said, I want you guys to start preparing yourselves right now because something like this could happen as early as 2024. We are seeing the signs. We are hearing the experts saying the same thing. And pretty much, guys, the information and the evidence is right in front of us. Use that to your advantage and prepare yourselves for the future ahead. But anyways, guys, I hope all this information in this video was necessary for you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a few ways for you to be able to support this channel. It's totally free to you. Also, some opportunities for you to receive something like uh, 12 free stocks from Webull, or you can even get the Amazon Prime membership for totally free. If you are interested, check out those links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.